Science Week is kicking off here at the National Concert Hall in Dublin, where one of the big things they're talking about are robots. Dara, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Welcome to the National Concert Hall stage. Thank you very much. Have you got a chance to be acquainted with Stevie here? I've only just met Stevie. Stevie, how are you getting on today? Hi, I'm great. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. I've been working hard in the lab lately and it's nice to get out. I know that feeling. I yes. know that feeling. It's also very good that Stevie can understand a fairly idiomatic conversation like how are you getting on, uh, which is not the standard form of address. Yeah, that Stevie's used to working among Irish people who yeah. can't just ask him how he is, but has to have to ask in some sort of indirect Irishy way. Exactly, so. yeah. Quintessentially Irish. Yes, how yeah, you yeah, getting yeah. On? But for his voice recognition software to be sophisticated enough to deal with us, that's pretty impressive. Connor McGinn is a professor of robotics at Trinity College Dublin and is the brains behind Stevie. So Connor, we have Stevie here been worked on in the background. You're really focused on developing robots which would help care for the elderly. How would they do that? There's a lot of um, things that make it difficult for people to live by themselves, um, especially if they've got mobility problems. So the first thing we're looking at doing is thing, you know, making robots that are able to help people with everyday tasks like you know, maybe getting the door or going into the kitchen and finding some objects. You know, there's other things that, you know, like reminders that are very useful. So perhaps taking medication or, if, you know, before they leave the house, reminding them to take a phone or keys. Um, you know, a really important one is, uh, you know, being able to tell if something goes wrong. So perhaps if, if somebody falls or, you know, you know they, might have, they, might be, they might find it difficult to, to call a panic alarm themselves. And having a robot that can raise that alarm is, is, is very important. So these are the sort of things we're looking at. And you're back here again at Science Week for another year. Why do you think it's so important to have this event each year? Um, we have a tendency in Ireland to be very, very proud of our literary culture and our artistic culture and our musical culture and all these things, but we tend to shout far less about our scientific culture and our scientific achievements. The, uh, and that's the thing, you, I kind of want to nudge us back into that direction if we can. Not just to say, listen, we had Hamilton and we had Boyle, but also that there's work being done in Irish universities and by Irish tech firms and Irish robotics firms that is very exciting at the cutting edge of things. Uh, and I just noticed that he's been 3D printed. Nice work, very good. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the, uh, So there's genuinely really interesting happens uh, the, that we should be shouting more about. Believe it or not, Stevie is just one of hundreds of robots working all over the country in different industries. Anne-Marie Tomchak is the editor of Mashable and has a documentary on RTE One Tonight called Will a Robot Steal My Job? My own industry as a journalist has already been affected by robotics. There is robo-journalism where uh, you can uh, report on a live uh, news event and a robot will use language processing and produce a piece of journalism and we looked at that and we went to a football match in the documentary and I had to try to decipher between two pieces of journalism, one by a robot and one by a human and I have to say I was really impressed with the robot. Finally, the big question, should we be worried? Will a robot steal my job? But I think we shouldn't be worried, but we should be prepared. I think that's the distinction. When you think about uh, how we can prepare for the future, what kind of skills we're going to need, um, it's quite heartening to see the young people now in primary schools learning about AI, learning about robotics. They know how to code. I don't even know how to code, you know? <laughs> we're definitely going to have to all tune in and watch your documentary yes. and see all about this. Tune in tonight, 9.35. Science Week on RTE. See rte.ie forward slash Science Week.